The next step would be to create a spreadsheet. You see I have a spreadsheet here with OD and ID. Those names must match exactly the name in your CATIA model. Whatever you called your washer here and your parameters, this OD, this ID, those must be the same capitals or lowercase letters, same words, so that when you go to link the spreadsheet, the OD and the ID know to follow. Furthermore, you have to have inches in parentheses in order for it to know you have inches, and you must use decimals. So I'm going to create a spreadsheet. So let's say you're, you're building a part, and you're going to order some washers. So you go to a website, and you go find some washers to order, and they give you their sizes for the washers. So they have a part number for theirs, and then you have the size that that washer is and their cost. So uh, you may want to insert washers wherever you got on your part, um, and you don't need to do anything but figure out what uh, size these are, and you can go make them. So let's say you're using several different washers. Well, instead of rebuilding six, seven si different sizes, you could just create a spreadsheet with the sizes you want. Or you could literally just create this whole spreadsheet and then you 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 save the model called Fender Washer Stainless Steel 18-8. And then you already have them. You just click on whichever size you want and then you can copy that over. So you may be wondering what size is a 6, 8, and 10, and then all of a sudden they go to quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, 5 sixteenths. Um, the inside diameter is the one they're calling diameter. This is no, normally known as the ID. And number six is three thirty seconds, five thirty seconds. So you can look up a chart on how that works. I don't know why in engineering, in construction everywhere, they they go with the number six, number eight, and number ten. Very commonly used sizes. But for some reason, instead of just saying five thirty seconds, three sixteen, seven thirty seconds. Um, actually, no, that's not the right size. I don't think that's the right size. What is quarter? I think this is three sixteenths. Uh, I could be wrong. Maybe it is five thirty seconds. Son of a gun, I can't remember. I'm going to have to go double check that. Anyways, these are just uh, standard sizes that we use a lot. Um, so you could copy this spreadsheet if you wanted an SAE, SAE flat washer and copy all these parameters. Notice that everything's given here in fractions. So for the sake of making this demo quicker, I'm going to type in 1 slash 4, and it's going to give me a date. So I'm going to delete that and highlight these two rows, A and B. And I'm going to use the control one feature. Okay. And then we'll come up with this pop up window. If you don't have control one working, you should be able to hit fractions over here. And then you should be able to, whoops, hit this arrow right here. It should get you that same chart for fractions. Okay. And um, let's go sixteenths of an inch. I'll say okay. So let's say I'm going to start with the 3 sixteenths. And then the next one down would be 4 sixteenths. Now you think, well, 4 sixteenths, that's really an eighth of an inch. So let's type in 1 eighth. Uh, sorry. 4 sixteenths would be 1 fourth. So I type in 1 over 4, and it's going to be doing 4 over 16 because of how I set the chart. If you're not good with fractions, maybe it's just easier to leave it like that. I'll slide it down. And you see, it's just counting off all the fractions, okay? Um, maybe I didn't need to go that far down because I wanted to show you another trick. Let's go, uh, this is 3 16 Let's make this one a quarter inch. So I type in 1 slash 4, and it goes to 4 16 Let's highlight this. And change this one to go quarter inch. Or I'm just going to use up to one digit. Or no, let's go up to two digits. 
select OK. So after a quarter inch, maybe I go to 3 eighths. Now, if I slide this down, or if I highlight these, I can grab this little bar and just drag it down. It just automatically changes my increments according to whatever I was doing here. So I went from a qu uh, quarter to 3 eighths, then 4 eighths or 1 half would be the next one. So if you have these two here, you can just let the computer calculate the rest for you. Okay. I was going to demo this. I demoed it last time, but this won't work because it. when I go to do the design, it's going to give you errors and you'll see that it doesn't work out. These all have to be decimals. So I'm going to highlight these two and I'm going to change the fraction to numbers and it changed it to decimals for me. Okay. Now I kind of like to see these go four places because some of these go four places out. So I like to see all four places here. All right. Now that I have that done, again, if you re remember my original spreadsheet, I have an OD and an ID. I'm just going to steal that. So I'm going to do a control C and pop over, highlight this and insert copied cell and it will drop the rest down. Oh, son of a gun. So if I want to copy a cell like that, you got to highlight the whole row. Control C, insert, copied cell, and then it just drops all those down. So now I should be able to create my parameters, okay? Or uh, insert my design tables. So I'm going to go back to Katia. And there's a design table here. So this feature is called design table. You'll find this feature in the tools tab. So this top row, the Tools tab has Design Table. And that should be in any workbench that you're in. I'm in Part Design. But there's plenty of workbenches that still have that, depending on what you're doing. Um, Sketcher has it. So what, I've got two options. Create a design table from a pre-existing file. I already have that one. You could actually build one on the fly. So I'll demo that next, how to build it on the fly. But I have that existing spread table, so I'll say OK here. And then I'm going to hit Import File. And there's one here I've created. Oh, no, I'd never saved that one, huh? Oh, so funny. So if I go back to this one here, it says Book 1 still. I'm going to call it File, Save As in my 196 folder. Washer. Um, what's this? This is spring 2022. So now that it's saved, I could literally close it off. I don't need this one anymore. So I can try and import it now. And there's the washer spring 2022. And I'll hit open. And I'll select OK. And I'll hit my green check mark up here on the top. Oh, what did I do? Do you want to automatically associate the columns? So if they weren't named the same, they're not going to associate. Since I did name them the same, I'll be able to associate the columns. And you see the OD and ID come in great here. And it's turned red because it's waiting for me to pick one now. So I'll pick the smallest one I have and hit apply. And there's my goofy looking washer there. And I'll pick the largest one here and hit apply. Okay, and there's my biggest number over here. And that is how you create. Oof. My computer is going so slow. I do not know what is happening, but for some reason, my computer is just going dog slow now. Um, this is how you create your parameters from your spreadsheet to be linked up to your. Um, Katia model. You'll see in my relations, I now have a design table called Washer 2022. It's all linked up. Next step will be to apply a thickness to this. What can I do if I forgot to insert a parameter? That'll be my next demo.